Meet Anthony van Dyck, a Flemish artist from the 17th century who became renowned for his amazing portraits. Now, let's take a peek into his life and see how his experiences influenced his notable works during this period. Born in 1599 in Antwerp, Belgium, Anthony van Dyck began his artistic journey at a young age. He trained under the guidance of renowned painter Peter Paul Rubens, who played a significant role in shaping his artistic style. As a result, Van Dyck developed a knack for capturing the essence and character of his subjects in his portraits. One of his captivating works from this period is the portrait of Hendrik van den Burg. Painted between 1627 and 1632, this portrait showcases Van Dyck's ability to portray the wealth and sophistication of his subjects with meticulous attention to detail. Another masterpiece worth mentioning is The Lady with a Fan, painted in 1628. In this piece, Van Dyck captures the elegance and grace of a noble woman, using delicate brushstrokes and vibrant colors. Moving on, we have the musician Enrique Liberti, created between 1627 and 1632. Here, Van Dyck showcases his expertise in capturing the musician's emotions and skill through their expressions and postures. Next up, we have Saint Francis of Assisi in Ecstasy, painted in the same period. This religious piece reflects Van Dyck's ability to convey spirituality and serenity through his use of light and shadow. Let's not forget the man with a lute, painted in 1627. In this portrait, Van Dyck captures the passion and soulfulness of the musician, emphasizing the connection between music and emotion. Moving on, we have Ottaviano Cannavari, also painted in 1627. This portrait demonstrates Van Dyck's ability to capture the confidence and power of his subjects, showcasing his versatility as an artist. Now, let's explore Christ on the Cross, painted in 1627. This religious artwork reflects Van Dyck's ability to evoke empathy and compassion through his portrayal of Christ's suffering. Next, we have Charity, painted between 1627 and 1628. This poignant piece showcases Van Dyck's skill in capturing the generosity and kindness of his subjects, highlighting the importance of empathy and compassion in society. Another notable portrait is Paulina Adorno Brignol Sale, painted in 1627. Here, Van Dyck captures the grace and beauty of the subject, showcasing his ability to create a sense of intimacy through portraiture. Lastly, we have Isabella Clara Eugenia, created in 1627. This portrait exemplifies Van Dyck's ability to capture the elegance and regal presence of noble figures. These artworks reflect the culmination of Van Dyck's experiences, from his training under Rubens to his own growth as an artist. They showcase his unique ability to depict the intricacies of human emotion, captivating audiences, and leaving a lasting legacy in the world of art.